Uh, one of our last sessions, you talked about this concept of karma and um, how we can not be hard hearted, but really bring that concept to now what's happening all around the world uh, with the protests and given this incident. Um, is karma a cause of racism? Um, for example, if we just see this George Floyd incident, um, he died from suffocation, uh, asphyxiation from the police officers, but from a karma perspective, we could perhaps see it as, well, sooner or later, if he didn't die this way, he would have died from something very similar. And the police officers who were all partaking in the, uh, not active killing, but um, of killing or hurting George Floyd, if not uh, in this incident, they would have been dealt the same, say, jail sentences or the murder charges in a different scenario. So if karma is one of the cause of uh, racism, um, how does one not become hard-hearted to the atrocities happening just in the material world? Okay. Thank you. So if things happen because of karma, then how do we avoid hard-heartedness? <clears throat> there is a very interesting incident in the Mahabharat where Vyasadev meets uh, Dhritarashtra before the Kurukshetra war and after the Kurukshetra war. So before the Kurukshetra war, Vyasadev uh, uh, tells Dhritarashtra, stop your son Duryodhan from antagonizing the Pandavas. Let him, let the Pandavas have their share of the kingdom and live peacefully with them. But um, he doesn't listen. And then the war happens. So, so now before that, the Trashtra tries to say to Vyasadeva that actually if the war is destined, then what can I do about it? At that time, he replies that, O oh, king, it is very difficult to know what the will of destiny is. Focus on contemplating what your duty is and act accordingly. Now, after the war gets over, and then all his sons are killed. The Trashtra is, is devastated, is in immense lamentation. And at that time, Vyasadev comes and says to the Trashtra, not lament. This war was destined. <laughs> this war was destined. He said, what do you mean by that? So the idea is that philosophy ultimately is a resource for us to live more responsibly, to live more fully. So when we have to make some choices, at that time, we shouldn't think too much about destiny. We should be focusing most on our responsibility, our duty, and make the best choice at that time. However, after something has happened, instead of endlessly agonizing over it, why did this happen, why did this happen, we can use philosophy as a means for acceptance. Okay, this has happened by destiny. Let me accept it and let me see what I can do now and move forward. So, in that sense, the, sense, the understanding of destiny can give us a sense of closure. Hmm. So, but that closure has to come after the things have closed. It's not before, isn't it? It's like, say, somebody has not yet died and then I want to have an emotional closure in this relationship. No, that person is not died till now. How can you have a closure? So we could say like that, that <clears throat> like that, before events have happened, we should work to the best of our capacity, focusing on what our duty is. Now, sometimes people may go off their duty thinking that they alone can produce the results. So for example, if somebody thinks that, okay, it's my destiny, I want to become wealthy. Because I want to do this, this, this. So now if somebody starts becoming dishonest to gain wealth, that is not good because that itself will create some karma and that will have its results. But if somebody says, I will not work at all. If it's my destiny to become wealthy, I'll become wealthy. Well, no, you have to work also. You have to put your part. You have to play your part and you have to work. So we could say that now in terms of uh, this particular incident where uh, Floyd was killed so brutally, then we have to understand that that is an irresponsible action by the police. And they have to be corrected. So is it because of karma? Well, yes, for the parents and the, for the family of George Floyd and others to get a sense of closure. Now it is over. We could say, okay, let's say it was sometime destined, something was karma. Let's move on in our lives. 
in that sense it's okay but that cannot be used to justify wrong doing so basically we can never look at the philosophy of karma separate from the associate concept of dharma dharma is duty so karma is what happens its destiny and everything like that but always the two have to be seen together so okay for doing my duty which vision is acceptable okay this is not yet destined i have to do my best to make sure that the best result comes out so let me do my best but now this has already happened let me not obsess over it now let me move forward so let me accept that as destiny and focus on what is my dharma now okay thank you